Hi students, today in our class we are going to study about properties of addition and subtraction of integers. In that the first property is closure property. Under addition, here if we add two integers. We get answer as an integer. That is, if we add two integer, we get answer as an integer. Consider some example. Consider five plus three. That is. Here five as five is also an integer. Three is also an integer. So if we add two integer, we get answer as an integer. Eight is an integer. Consider another example. Six plus seven. Here six also an integer. Seven is also an integer. If we add two integer, we get answer as thirteen. Thirteen is also an integer. Consider another example minus six plus one. We get answer as minus five. Here minus five is also an integer. Therefore, in general, for any two integers, a and b. A plus B is an integer. Next, we are coming to second property, closure property under subtraction. If we subtract two Integers. The answer will be an integer. That is, if we subtract two integer, the answer will be an integer. Consider some example. Five minus three. Here five also an integer. Three is also an integer. We get answer as. Two here, two also an integer. Next, consider another example minus four plus one. That is equal to three. Here minus four also an integer. One is also an integer. Here we get answer as minus three. Minus three also an integer. Therefore, in general. For any two integers, a and b, a minus b is an integer. Okay, students. Let us start third property. That is commutative property under addition. Here, consider. An example: three plus two. Three is also an integer, and two is also an integer. If we add this, we get five. If we interchange these two numbers, two plus three, that is also equal to five. If we interchange the numbers, the answer is same. Consider another example. Minus two plus three. That is equal to one. If we interchange these two numbers, three minus two, 
the answer is 1 so if we interchange the numbers we get same answer so commutative pre property under addition means if we change the order of numbers if we change the order of numbers the answer will be same so we can say in general a plus b that is equal to b plus a so we say that addition is commutative for integers so addition is commutative for integers next coming to fourth property that is commutative property under subtraction consider the integers Four and minus two. If we subtract four minus of minus two, we get here minus into minus plus two. That is six. So if we change the order of the numbers, minus two minus four. We get answer as minus 6. Therefore, A minus B is not equal to B minus A. We, we conclude that subtraction is not commutative for integers. Next, coming to fourth, fifth property that is associative property. Associative property. Consider integers minus 2, minus 1 and plus 3. Here associative property means consider a plus of b plus c that is equal to a plus b plus c. Here a is equal to minus 2, b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to plus 3. So apply the values for this formula. Consider a plus of b plus c. Here a is equal to minus 2 plus b is equal to minus 1 plus c is 3. So minus 2 plus minus 1 plus 3. Here minus 2 plus minus 1 plus 3 is 2. So we get 0. Next apply for this a plus b of plus c. That is equal to here a is minus 2 plus b is minus 1 plus c is 3. Here minus 2 here plus into minus 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 1 plus 3. Here minus 3 plus 3 we get 0. In both the cases the answer is same. Similarly consider another example minus 3 1 and minus 7 here apply these values for this formula consider a plus b plus c that is equal to minus 3 plus 1 plus c is minus 7 here minus 3 plus 
1 minus 7. Min plus into minus is minus. So we get minus 3 minus 6. So we get the answer as minus 9. Similarly consider RHS A plus B of plus C. That is equal to A is minus 3 plus 1 plus C is minus 7. That is minus 3 plus 1 plus into minus 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 7. So we get minus 2 minus 7. The answer is minus 9. So in both the cases the answer we get minus 9. So we conclude that addition is associative for integers. In general, in general, for any integers, a comma b and c we can say a plus of b plus c that is equal to a plus b plus c next pro next we move on to sixth property sixth property that is Additive identity. When we add 0 to any whole number, we get the same whole number. So, here 0 is an additive identity. for whole numbers for example consider 0 plus 8 we get 8 as an answer consider another example 9 plus 0 we get same answer as 9 Next, minus 9 plus 0, we get answer as minus 9. Therefore, the above exa examples so show that 0 is an identity, 0 is an additive identity for integers in general we can say that for any integer a we can say a plus 0 that is equal to a that is equal to 0 plus a